the disappearance of Lei Archi. Lei Archi is a 13 year old girl born in Hawaii, Honolulu on August 21st, 1979. Her parents both Donald Archi and Vicki Felton both were active members of the United States Army. Donald and Vicki both met while stationed in California in 1977 until their divorce in 1981. Vicki later moved to Tupelo, Mississippi while Donald was stationed in Germany despite being overseas. Donald remained close with Lay. On August 27th, 1992, Lei Achi disappeared from her house, 105 Honey Locust Drive in Tupelo, Mississippi. Lei's mother, Vicky, had to work on the morning of Lei's disappearance. At 7.50 a.m., upon arriving at work, Vicky borrowed her boss's weather radio to keep on top of the worsening weather. Around 8.30 a.m., she called Lei as the weather forecasted to get worse. Lei failed to answer. Vicky called home a second time. Lei was unable to answer. After the second call, Vicky reportedly rushed back to the house. At 8.45 a.m., Vicky arrived at the house. One of the first things she recalled noticing was the light to the garage door on and the garage door open. At this point, Vicky searched through every room in the house, calling out to her daughter when she got no response and reached Lay's room. She discovered her daughter's favorite blanket crumbled up on the floor. She called 911 immediately after this. At approximately 9 a.m., when investigators arrived to the scene, they found no signs of forced entry into the house. However, there were signs of struggling that occurred. There were fresh pools of type O blood found in Lay's upstairs bathroom, and some smeared in the hallway, bathroom, and on her bedroom door. There was a blood trail located leading from the hallway to the living room. Also, there was hair stuck to the door frame, indicating Lay had hit her head during the struggle. A nightgown of Lay's was found bloodstained. According to investigators, this was an injury to the head and suggested that she may have laid on the carpet for a short amount of time before being moved. In the master bathroom, police found that someone made an attempt to clean blood. According to Vicky, Lay's reading glasses, a pair of shoes, some of her clothing, and an old sleeping bag were all missing from the house. She told investigators that Lei had still been wearing the nightgown when she left her work. It is believed that some of the clothing that was missing were items she received for her birthday a few days prior. Donald Achi was able to obtain an emergency one month leave on September 6, 1992. Once he arrived, several searches were conducted the church even paid for Donald's hotel room. He stayed in Tupelo for about a month. About two weeks later, Vicky got a package. It contained Lay's eyeglasses. The package came from Boonville, Mississippi, and water was used to seal it so they couldn't get any viable DNA from the package. Sniffer dogs and Newfoundland dogs were brought in. However, the sniffer dogs couldn't pick up a scent. This was mainly because of the storms. Newfoundland dogs are specific for finding decomposition. All failed. Vicky took three polygraph tests and failed them all. This led her to become a person of interest. Donald also agreed to take polygraphs, but he passed and was ultimately ruled out as a potential suspect. This case will remain open until the remains of Lei Aji are found. 
I pray someday someone is held accountable for Lay's disappearance.